Hello everyone and welcome back to Mod Play and Review. It's been a while since I have done one of these, but um, I do want to get back to it. Uh, the first round of Mod Play and Reviews didn't really get the type of support that I thought they would, but that's okay. I do enjoy doing them, so I just kind of decided that I'm going to keep doing them, and maybe eventually they'll catch on. So, as you can see, I have my first little house built here. Now, I, I know I have a couple of OCD viewers, and um, this side was purposely built bigger than this side. This wasn't the building error. I made this side smaller because it's my living quarters, and this side is bigger because it's my workshop. So, I don't know. I just... Asymmetry can be nice sometimes, you know? So we just have a nice little house. I went ahead and got built up here for us to live in for this series. Just a nice little thing. Nice little garden in the back. And a door we can go through. So the mod we're going to be playing from the ground up with today is Tinker's Construct. And for some of you who are newer, because it's been a while since I've done a mod play and review, mod play and review is basically... Um, instead of just arbitrarily like for 30 seconds um, showing something from the mod uh, this is me actually playing the game with the mod from the ground up so as you can see I have nothing right now in fact I'm trying to kill a chicken to get some food there we go and so basically we work from the ground up and see how the mod works now uh, mod reviews are still valid for some things because they're just some mods you can't necessarily play from the ground up with like uh, Optifine. How the heck would you do a mod play and review of Optifine? It's just going to be Minecraft, except slightly nicer looking. So, yep, I just kind of take mods like Tinker's Construct, and Tinker's Construct is a mod that has like this whole crazy tool system, and uh, I think it's pretty awesome, so we're going to do some awesome stuff with it in return. Now we're going to need a bunch of wood to get started in this mod. It has a bunch of its own little crafting benches of sorts. And those various crafting benches will give you the ability to make all of the different types of items in this mod. And I'm actually going to go get a sword so I can kill some of these animals and get some food easier. For behold, I have become Koala, destroyer of animals, and you shall feel my sword sting. Yes, yes, no you can't run from me, yes. You shall all feel my fiery wooden wrath. Death to you and all of your comrades, yes. <laughs> I think that was quite good. Dang, it takes a lot of raw meat. Ugh. You get so used to having, like, nice farms and stuff, sometimes you forget about what a concern food can be. That's kind of the funny thing about Minecraft, is sometimes, you know, mm. things just stop being a concern. Like food. At a certain point in Minecraft, you just stop caring about food, and you just carry a stack of food on you at all times, and you're good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep on getting a crud ton of wood, because we need a crud ton of wood to get all the things going that we need to get going. Okay, so I think about 20 pieces of logs is all we're going to need to get all of the basic, um, all the basic tool tables we need going, and I'm going to go ahead and plant these trees in my house so that the next time I need to come get wood, it's right here. Okay, there we go. And I'm not... Uh, let's see, so what I, there's a ton of different ways you can make tools. As you can see, there's all these different rods, and there's all these different heads, and we'll get into that in the very near future. But first we need to start with some basic... Um, some basic... Uh, the basic crafting block, workbench type things. So... There's one, two, three, four, and they all have one of these blank patterns, so we're going to need four of those. Okay, and... Let's 
see here, get a bunch of sticks. Okay, so we need four of those, and then for a tool station, it is a crafting table and a blank pattern. And then we're going to need a part builder. Okay. And a pattern chest. Should be easy. And finally, we need the stencil table. Okay. Now we'll go take these over to the workshop. See here, and I got some coal going so that I could cook some decent food up. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put the pattern chest next to the part builder, which will become obvious for reasons later. And then I'm going to put the stencil table and I'll put the tool station over here. Okay. So, I'm going to have to probably get, yeah, okay, if I just turn off cheap mode, it works fine. So, uh, the, ch -ch -ch -ch. the crafting block we start with right here is the pattern shaper, which I don't know why it calls itself that, because in-game it is referred to as the stencil table, but whatever. So... Uh, it has these little buttons to alternate through what pattern you're making. Let me go make another one of these stencil things. There we go, blank pattern. So you can put this in here, and you can see there's a bunch of different patterns you can get. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Okay, so there's 11 of them, which means we need to make 10 more of these. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that should be enough to make all of the different patterns. And the patterns are how you get to making all of the different tools. So that's a rod. That's a head. There's a head for a spade. Head for an axe. Sword blade pattern. A wide guard pattern. A hand guard pattern a crossbar pattern, a tool binding pattern, a pan pattern, and then our board pattern. Okay, and so now what we can do is if we go into our pattern chest, we can go ahead and just throw... Oh, good lord, we'll be... And the hatch is and the hatch is every man will fight today, and we shall be glorious. There we go. Okay, so now what we can do is we can throw these inside of the pattern chest and now it's going to become obvious why um, this is right next to right next to our <clears throat> part builder that's funny because when you open up the part builder you can see that it's attached to the pattern chest so instead of having to keep all of the patterns in your inventory you can just put them all into the part chest and go ahead and do your thing. Now, to use this correctly, I'm just going to have to turn that off. And I guess we should try to make, like, a pickaxe. So, let's see here. If I put, like, wood in here... What happens if I do that? Okay. Um, so, if I do this, I can get a wood pickaxe head, a wood rod, and a stick back. Now you can see the material cost here. So this is one, this is 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5,
This being 1 means it's going to consume the whole material. This being 0.5 means you're going to get some of the material back, which is why when I made the wooden rod, I also got a stick in return. Now, to put the pickaxe together, we're also going to need a tool binding. So we'll just get ourselves a wood binding here since we don't have... Can we do it with leather? No. Yeah, we don't have many other resources right now aside from wood. If we open any eye here, we can actually see all the different options. You can have wood, stone, iron, flint, cactus, bone, obsidian, netherrack, slime, paper, cobalt, ardite, melinium, copper, and bronze, and which brings me to a side note that there is world generation, if I can find it here. It adds two nether ores, it adds ardite and cobalt, and it also adds copper, tin, and aluminum. Of course, if you have mods that have these things already, you don't have to worry about it, since it uses the forge or dictionary, you should be good. All right, so, Let's see here. Oh my goodness. All I want is a Oh, oh, yep, okay. Eat an apple. There we go, okay. Am I missing? I have a tool station. Oh, yeah, okay. So. Now we go into the tool station, which is used for upgrading or making the tools, and we'll just go to the pickaxe here. And again, let me turn off any eye so it doesn't get in the way. So if we go over and click, it has a couple different modes. It has anvil mode, which you use for upgrading and naming things. And then it has all the different options for things you can make. We'll just go ahead and go over to the pickaxe, and the pickaxe is a basic mining tool. It is effective on stone and ores, and you can see here we need a pickaxe head, a wood binding, and a pick, and we can go ahead and get a pickaxe. And uh, it's basically essentially just going to be a wood pickaxe. We've basically managed to craft the equivalent of a Minecraft wood pickaxe. There's not really anything special about it, aside from the fact that we can do the special upgrade type stuff to it. So I'll just name it my first pick, as if this is some sort of like tutorial where we're being derpy about things. So if I open back up NEI, you can see there's a ton of different modifiers, none of which we have right now, so I'm not really going to worry about it. But when we get farther along in the mod, we will be able to start modifying and improving our tools to be awesome in every possible way. So I thank you guys very much for watching this intro episode to um, the mod play and review of Tinker's Construct by MDO. MDO? I think that's how you say the name. But anyway, if you're curious about this mod, there will be a link down in the description, and you can go ahead and check it out. So, I will see you guys all next time. Toodles!